Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here, so glad you clicked on. Well, this week we continued on in our sermon series, Summer of Psalms, where we took a look at Psalm 51. We may be familiar with it. It's a psalm that David wrote after he uh, got himself into quite a bit of trouble. Uh, so if you had a chance to listen to the sermon, uh, you'll know what that trouble is. And if you haven't had a chance to listen yet, I invite you to do so. Uh, but we talked a lot about repentance and self-examination and the importance of that. And we talked about um, how we receive forgiveness through Jesus. And um, I, I was thinking more about that. I told a story in the sermon about how when I was younger, I kind of got this um, idea of Day of Atonement and Easter Sunday sort of crossed, <laughs> kind of got all tangled up in my mind. And so I thought that the only day that we could ask for forgiveness was on Easter Sunday. And I recounted sitting in a pew trying to think through all of my uh, sins from that year, all the things I had done wrong, all the things I needed to ask forgiveness for. And and um, I still think about that often um, of how grateful I am <laughs> that we don't find forgiveness just one day a year grateful that I don't have to go sacrifice a bull every time I make a mistake and that we can truly find mercy and grace through the love of Jesus. Uh, I came across a quote that I wanted to share with you that's kind of along this lines of um, forgiveness and, and the power of forgiveness um, in our relationship with God. It's a quote from Richard Rohr, um, who is an incredible Catholic theologian. If you haven't read his stuff, I'd recommend it. It's really quite great. Um, but he writes this, every time God forgives us, God is saying that God's own rules don't matter as much as the relationship that God wants to create with us. When I came across that quote, it's one of those things that just sort of like pierced my heart in the best way. Just that reminder that, you know, there are all these rules that God laid out and yet God desires relationship with us more than us following the rules. God would rather forgive the mistakes that we've made and be in relationship with us than to hold our feet to the fire and say, no, you have to follow these rules. And really, that's kind of what I think David was kind of getting at in the psalm where he talks about God doesn't want sacrifice. God wants a contrite heart. God doesn't want uh, animals' blood spilt. He wants our hearts to be repentant. He wants us to ask for forgiveness. He wants us to be to seek out a relationship with him and God will happily um, meet us where we are. You know, a lot of times we think when we wander away from God, we have to walk back to God. But what I have found in my life is that when we wander from God, when we turn around, God is there. We don't have to wander all the way back. We don't have to fight back uh, to find God. He is right there waiting for us. And the reason that is, I think, is exactly what this quote is getting at, that God desires to be in relationship more than God desires us to follow the rules. Now, I don't say that to then say, go and break whatever rules you want. <laughs> um, I say that to let you know that there's nothing that you can do. There's no God rule that you can break uh, so badly that God won't be right there waiting for you when you turn to him with a repentant heart. So I just wanted to share that with you. I, I think that, you know, we know that. We know that that is true. Uh, we see it in our lives, right? With, with um, if you're a parent and you have kids or if you have parents, their relationship is valued over the rules. Like your parents want you to follow the rules. They want you to do what you're supposed to do. But when you mess up, they're there for you, right? Like that's the kind of parent I want to be that when my kids mess up that they know they can call me and I will be there for them, ready to forgive them and to invest even more into that relationship with them. So I think that that kind of helps us understand a little bit of where God is with us. God wants to be in relationship with us. He wants us to be repentant. He wants us to turn from our mistakes. 
he is ready to offer forgiveness and mercy and grace because that's just who God is and that's how much God loves us. So I hope that you will be blessed by that knowledge today, that you will just um, be grateful again anew uh, for the forgiveness that God is willing to show you, for the love that he has shown you in Jesus, and um, that you'll just carry that good news with you. That is such good news. I hope you'll carry it with you for the rest of the week, and I hope you'll join us this weekend. You are not going to want to miss our guest speaker, speaker, Margaret Ann Jessup. She is going to come and share with us an incredible project that she has started called Wouldn't It Be Lovely? And she has an incredible story. She is a fantastic preacher. So you're not going to want to miss her. Join us in person or online. Uh, and I know you'll be blessed. So have a great rest of your week and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.